Okay, my friends, here we are. So welcome. Uh, this is uh, Awakened Spirits Network, which is my podcast and YouTube channel. I have the beautiful, the color coordinated and the one soul and two body a magical couple of David Maria and Vivica Sophia, who are my two dear friends. And we're going to talk about many things, including their upcoming class on uh, embodying the new wave of creation. Uh, how do we title it here? Aligning and embodying the new flow of abundance, abundance without limitations, embodying the new wave of creation. David and Vivica, welcome, my friends. Thank you, Diego, for having us again. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. It's always, you, you know it's always a pleasure for us to be here with you. It's always yes, a pleasure please. to share with you. It's never dull. Yeah, it's it's never dull. Bless you both. As, as you see how joyfully we're coming again and again and again. Exactly. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. We're, so we're, uh, we're even joyful in our boredom. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you be? So David, I'll, I'll, I'll invite you and you can invite Vivica, however you want to do it, but go ahead and tell us what, uh, what you have in mind for this class and anything else you want to share, share with us today. We're, with all of the classes and the courses that Vivica and I, and I offer, what they are in essence is not even in essence, they're, they're what we experience during the meditations that we do together. And we meditate together every single day, sometimes multiple times. Wow. And this course is, is no exception. This course began to come through when we were in the Redwoods. Right? Before, before of that. That's that's right. It did come through. There was just a major dream that came through while we were while while, while we were in the redwoods, and it's been coalescing and refining itself ever, ever since then, which is a, a normal part of of what happens with us when we when we receive transmissions like this that are going to become offerings. So let me clarify that it's not a class. This is a five week course. And there will be six classes offered in it. One of them is just a Q&A. But at, at, at its heart, it's, we're, we're, we're moving beyond the point. Or we've, we have moved beyond the point to where we in any more manifest or do manifestations. We are becoming the very essence of the manifestation. We've we've spoken of this <clears throat> we've spoken of this in, in other other times that we've been with you and mm -hmm. that um there is a wave that is flowing through everything from our creator, from source. Right. And it's not that we attach to that wave. We remember that we are this wave. We are this, this flow, this emanation, this pure divine love that flows from our creator, from source. It's who we are. And in that, we become the abundance that we may have, we have may, may, maybe in the past we've been looking for or seeking. And before we came on, I shared with Vivica a story that she knows. It's, it's an, an old Persian story of a person that lost their house keys and was looking underneath a, a street light at night looking for the keys and a policeman walked up, asked him what he would, asked the person what they were doing. And they, they answered, I'm looking for my house keys. And the policeman said, is this where you lost them? 
and and the person said no, but this is where the light is. <laughs> so it's classic. Yes. So we, <laughs> we we tend to look in all the places that we know. And then at some point we have an epiphany and, and we, we remember in that analogy, we remember that we are the keys. Mm. Good. Yeah. Beautiful. So th this, this, this course will be a really deep dive as, as, as a master class into remembering who we are and remembering that everything that we've ever been involved with in seeking or trying to do it's who we already are we already mm -hmm. are. we are the abundance that you may have been seeking it's who you are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, we'll, be, we'll be delving into removing a lot of the blocks and the impediments that people have that we all have ourselves included we we've, we've been doing this work too quite diligently sure yeah beautiful beautiful Vivica yeah. do you want to add it yeah yeah and when we when we're talking when David also mentioned about that that we we are not only we're, we're, we are not anymore to manifesting but we becoming this manifestation that mm -hmm. that we this everything will manifest just by through us when we are just our true self this is very core of this this uh, course that we aligning more and more with our true essence so for example in unity consciousness we we all becoming the answer to other prayers so you are the answer to other prayers and other are answer for your prayers then it's it's there is all the time this synchronicity there is not so such a thing as lack in unity consciousness because there is always this you <laughs> you sending prayer through your heart your true heart wishes it is automatic in this field and somebody automatically will answer to that so you are the prayer and you are answered to the prayers and this is this is very essence of what we what we do in this course that we will align this is our our core essence with unity yes. consciousness with this divine love with this new wave of of creation yes there is a new wave of creation, isn't there? And it is uh, it is us. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are we are not separate from it. You've, you've heard us say many times: there's only one of us here, mm -hmm. and and that yeah. is that is that is, that is that's not a phrase that I originated or that Vivica originated more than many people use use that expression and it's it's still true yeah, yeah. no matter yeah. no matter what how the dream appears to us, right it's all it's all of course yes you have a quote from rumi here on the page it says when you move beyond thought you access the beloved when you move into the unknown beyond everything the beloved caresses you. Beautiful. Yeah, and you are the beloved also. <laughs> right. So it's it's opening our hearts uh, to remember that. And uh, I think what, what I'm seeing here is, of course, working through, letting go of, releasing, forgiving the blockages, you know, uh, self-doubt or criticism or, you know, trauma or whatever it might stand in the way of us feeling willing to embrace that willing to expand to that yes so in in this course we we together as one <laughs> as one consciousness we we're working with uh, deepest programs 
within ourselves and in collective consciousness right. that somehow still limits ourselves as abundance but still limits our true heart our mind so yes yes and we, we aligning with with our true heart and we are tuning our our body our our uh, light bodies with this right. new wave with this new sounds light right. so and by this alignment we becoming this new wave of abundance and that flowing through all of creation beautiful so it's, instead of doing and I, I could stop right there instead of doing <laughs> yeah. instead of doing all the things that we've been used to doing you know like, and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with them like doing repeated affirmations or creating vision boards or whatever it is yeah you just you become yourself and yourself naturally brings forth the desires of your heart and it naturally comes into into into, into creation because it's who you are and, and because when, sorry go ahead <laughs> when, when, once we take out all, 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 all of the cuttings from the vegetables that we've prepared and put them into the compost bin and clear our field, everything just it begins to happen naturally. As the, sorry, as, as I apologize, as, as, as the Abraham say, you are the exact same force that creates universes. Yes. Yes, beautiful. And knowing that, not believing that, knowing that, knowing that through becoming that, then every, every, everything comes into being at the perfect moment. And all of, all of our needs are abundantly, and I do mean abundantly met. We have always have everything that we need. Sounds good. Yeah, Vivica, go on. Thank you, David. And uh, and when many many of many of us maybe still sometimes hesitating that is what what is my true heart wishes. What I truly, what I treat, what I truly want, and what we do in this course also, we through through the opening our true heart and aligning with with the heart of creation, we we becoming this expression of divine will, and our our true heart wish is always aligned with divine will. Oh. They becoming they becoming directly from the source. And, and you also will recognize this your true heart wishes because they bring this uh, permanent fulfillment in your heart. It's not something that we get then after a week, we just, oh, I want something new. <laughs> it it's, it's brings this, this permanent fulfillment because uh, all our art, Heart wish is always aligned with our with our uh, mission. <laughs> we can call that also purpose in this life. Sure. So, and they always align with divine will. Beautiful. Well, let me just read. That was lovely. Let me just read what you have here. Uh, in this course, we will learn how to navigate new energies with ease and grace, being one with the wave of new creation. We won't discuss quick manifestation techniques and the dynamics of giving and receiving. Being this new wave of creation, we no longer send love or blessings. 
We do not try to bring abundance into our lives through manifestation. We do not receive transmissions. We are love. We are blessing. We are abundance. We are truth. We are manifestation. We are the ongoing transmission, the voice of source, divine will, universal love. We are the new wave of creation that abundantly contains all expressions of universal love, which flows through all creation. And then you say, together we will share an experience how this wave creates through our physical form and how it transforms energy into matter, experiencing it together as a unity consciousness. We will share it as a united experience. During the course, we'll move deeper and deeper into the layers of the heart of all creation, successively opening new levels of transcendental love which reveal in you more and more the secrets of organic creation. That's lovely. Exciting. And, it, and it's so true. <laughs> yes, it is. It's just this remembrance that something to flow to us, to, to everybody who, who are aligned with, with this this new wave and who willing to open their hearts to this love who they are yeah yes yeah i'm i'm studying um i'm in a study group uh with uh this channeled book the the course in miracles uh for the first time uh, ever uh, over the last month and um it's of course touching on a lot of similar ideas of what you're sharing here that you know as we give ourselves to god's will and we live in that state of peace you know and strive to be and ask to be of service to the greater good then our needs get met and the world's needs get met harmoniously that's that's how creation is yeah at the highest level at the most conscious level for, we also for we we also together sharing this experience of this different vibration and frequencies. Sometimes we we all we all know what abundance is in some level, and and we all embodied these certain qualities of abundance. But sometimes there is some some qualities, for example many people still struggling with financial situations sure. Sure. So some some qualities is still like frozen <laughs> not yeah. open within us and we we tap we will tap deeply into this specific frequencies also and we remove this distortion there and 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 we also uh making this re re reunification with this flow of abundance, this, this when when there is, for example, separated this certain quality of abundance still within us, we mm -hmm. will re make this re re renewification. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this word. Right. Uh, right. Re renew renewification. Reunification. <laughs> Okay, it's not easy. Need that. <laughs> I sometimes <laughs> still struggling with pronouncing some certain words in English, but it is what your English is better than my Spanish or my Estonian, I promise you. No, it's <laughs> it's 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 going okay. better and better, but step by step. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um well David, did you I was asking before, uh Vivica shared, I'll come back to this, but uh Vivica shared this beautiful uh post today on Facebook, I don't know if you've had a chance to see it, but I read it in my morning prayers and it was really, you know, a great gift um, to to hear that. Did you happen to read it yet? I haven't looked at Facebook today, no. Sure, sure. Well, I just want to alert you to it because it'll be well worth your your attention. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, truly. I, I, sh I shared yesterday that. <laughs> Very was good. that true? Was that what you wrote on being a mother? Yes. yes. Oh, I, I read that, yes. It was very good, very deep. And, uh, you know, again, just uh, talking about coming from, 
you know, a place of unconditional love and uh, accepting the gifts of, you know, knowing our divinity and, um, and bringing that into our daily lives, you know, uh, this is, this is the work, as we say. And <clears throat> I, kn I know that I've mentioned this on multiple occasions with you, with you, Lou, that Vivica literally has the largest heart of anybody that I've ever known. And it, and it, it is, it is true. And what she wrote yesterday about being a mother is, re is a reflection of that. Yes. Yes. So thank you, Vivica, for sharing that. It was beautiful. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You're and so welcome. It, it doesn't take a rocket science to, to, to know how large your heart really is. Well, yours as well, my friend. And this is the this is the great gift that you both bring to the work and the the service that you, you're offering people, which is why it's a joy and an honor to to know you both and be a part of this journey with you and uh to you know invite other people to step up you know and really um play this role of divine service at the highest level and you know you have both made great sacrifices and and committed everything you know many many times over and uh i like to feel that that that's the price of admission for all of us but the reward is, you know, real unconditional love and enlightened souls on the journey here with you, like both of you, and the opportunity to change the world, you know, and that's a that's a huge, huge thing. All of that. So there. <laughs> so we, we change the world through changing ourselves. That's that that's always that's always the path. Absolutely. And that's true. The world that we experience is always a reflection of who we are. Yes. In in, yes. in, 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 in this now moment. And sometimes, and speeding. sometimes we can go through our changes with ease and grace, and sometimes we're drug kicking and screaming. The whole, the whole okay. Yeah. Um, right now, that yeah. we've we have experienced with David, especially after this last class, or it started before that already, but especially it have been amplified after this last class, Red Bull class, when we when we tap deep into this um, core core pain, mm. core core programming, and and mm. of course, what we're releasing within ourselves, always it's affected collective, and we are affected affected also. What what mm -hmm. with that? What happened again, collective? And we before of that course already a mm -hmm. few months ago, we we started to feel that, and right now it's really amplified this this victim and victimizer program mm -hmm. in collective, and 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 there are lots of lots of release happening yes. and, and we we dive in, in in our course also into this program even more deeper yes. because it's it's also related to abundance because there is uh, this this when when we still um are connected with this programming with this belief system we we very often we we're sacrificing ourselves Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. it's it's and and there is and we sacrifice. We believe that we we don't worth that, or we need to sacrifice ourselves. That mm -hmm. we we can own that we we can feel the love, or we can own something, or or it's it's just it's a huge limitation. And then what we do, we we will work with this this deep Great. program also. No more, yes. more. <laughs> no, right. no, no, no yeah. more martyr, martyrdom. We, we don't get to, to do that no. anymore. The, the essence of that is that I can't make myself so poor that you feel better about your, your financial self. Sure, sure. It just, it just yeah. doesn't work. It just doesn't work. 
Right. Yes. Yes. And this is if if I take if I have something, maybe there is not enough to others and, and all this kind of beliefs and, and the sacrificing and and uh, yeah, but we we will really deeply work with this this imprint also. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. As in, there is always more than enough for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. It's 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 a great thing to wake up from the nightmare and step into a dream. That's beautiful mm -hmm. and, and works for everyone. And it's also wonderful to awaken from the dream. At no no matter what level you're you're dreaming. And yet the dream still is at the same time. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a powerful time. And Beautiful as, time. As has been said many times, and it's always here and now. Mm -hmm. There is no other place. There is no other time. I love that Eckhart, Eckhart Tolle quote that says, no one's ever experienced the future. <laughs> right, right. Because it exists. Yeah. What we consider the future exists in this now moment. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. We've got a little more here, which is also um, wonderful. I was just looking at it. Uh, da, da, da. None of us remember who we are in a vacuum by ourselves. We are all connected, and others always come forward during our journey of awakening to provide assistance and guidance just when we need it there this is where abundance without limitations comes in the beginning of your journey into embodying abundance is disconnecting from the old collective matrix and surrendering to the unknown i'll just read this the old collective matrix was built on fear lack and separation throughout our lives we have all embroiled ourselves that's a great word. In the programming of the old matrix, fear-based suggestions and recommendations that stem from survival, seer, survival fears and poverty consciousness. These programs and beliefs literally surround our consciousness, preventing us from experiencing more of our infinitely abundant self. They were designed to weaken our connection to source and take us further from our spiritual hearts. These beliefs and fears have kept us in the same loop mechanism where we could not experience any major life changes. So we continue to create the same experiences based on these beliefs, conditions, and fears. So true. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, that will be the very first class that, that we offer is disconnecting from completely from the old the energetics of the old financial matrix that, that way no that no longer works it's completely dysfunctional and it was it was designed that way it was it was it, it was built that way yeah. it was it wasn't built knowing that everybody is abundant right. it, it was built on on, on lack and somehow, no matter how much I have, I still need more. Right, right. It's, it, it's like trying to dig a hole in the ocean in order to fill it, and it's not going to happen. It, does, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. When, you, when you're in that consciousness, no matter how much you have, it's never enough. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, in this course, in this course, we also concentrated to that that open up this our true creative power and creativity also because it's abundance. It's when we when we talking about abundance, we are not talking only about uh, financial abundance. Of course, we we also uh, also. <laughs> releasing these limitations and and also that, that, that dive deep into this financial 
matrix also and then releasing these old limitations and but uh, the most important that we also uh, empower ourselves and releasing is our true creative power mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right and, and, and through that when you, when you truly embody that then you, then just by being who you are you can also just naturally organically without even thinking about it you can empower others okay can yeah, you say more about sorry and you you will you will recognize more and more your unique true self because the more we opening up to this new wave the more unique we becoming and the more the more we disengaging from this uh, old copy mechanism that we need to be as others we're not comparing ourselves anymore with others and and it's our true creative powers your creativity will uh, will lead us to this financial abundance also wonderful wonderful so money is just money is just energy that, that's all it, that's all that it is it's just energy and it is it is meant to be like water where it just it flows where it's needed if, if there's some place that needs more water, then it, it, it flows there. And that's what it, that's in its essence, what it is to live in unity consciousness. That if, if, if I have and you need, then I share what I have. And it, without, without thought, without thinking about it. So there is, absolutely never has been any shortage of anything for anybody living here on, on, this, on this planet it's just shall we say a misallocation in distribution the the the, in the essence of the, of the current matrix as it is is hoarding only instead of hoarding things pe people are hoarding money and resources mm -hmm. rather, rather yeah. than in in our complete and total knowingness of our abundance and experiencing no lack or fear for ourselves in any way shape or form that everything flows to everybody mm -hmm. beautiful and it flows abundant and it at, it at its essence it is it is love shining right. itself upon everybody right yeah and, and and David did it again. I just thought about love, and he just <laughs> he said that this is usually when we we yeah. talk about love that this is the same transmission, and and sometimes we just know what other want to say or 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 we saying what <laughs> what coming through both of us. And I, I I just wanted to extend that a little bit that when. When we, it's, it's self limitation always, uh, always related to self love. 
the more we have self-limitation, the more we still have these parts of ourselves that we don't love unconditionally. And this is what we do in this course also. We, we will found these places, these, these parts of us to transform them into unconditional love. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. You say here, abundance without limitations unlocks the organic joy, creativity, and authenticity that always comes from our original joy of creation. I love that. When we look at little children, we see a reflection of this original joy of creation. We have all remembered and experienced this state of joy, yet we embraced the copycat mechanism of the old 3D matrix and forgot our uniqueness. In this course, we are reminded of the unique expression of our soul, experiencing ourselves as a unique fractal of source and that we are one with the source of all of creation. We join our holy parents in experiencing a rebirth in the womb of the Holy Mother's heart, becoming the Christ child, a pure source of creativity, joy, authenticity, love, and abundance. Amazing. Yeah, when we, we're talking about this joy, joy of creation, or, or, or when we do doing something creative, it's 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 just such a new level that that right now we're experiencing. It's it's such immense full uh, feeling of fulfillment and joy when you do something from your from your true heart when it is this authentic expression of yourself. But sometimes I <laughs> I'm even crying of this joy because it's 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 such a fulfillment. You don't think about this this final outcome that uh, how 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 is is anybody like that or 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 what I will do this with this creation and how I will share that you're just doing it because you love that you love it so much that it, because it is you your creation is you and when you express that from your when you express that through your creativity it's 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 so amazing <laughs> yes yes the 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 Abraham has a quote. Uh, David, uh, the basis of life is freedom. The purpose of life is joy. You know, and there it is. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, you've got a lovely... Uh, sorry, just let me share this if I can. So this is from the lovely Althea Provost. Uh, and she says, Vivica, Sophia, and David Maria are living by example, moving into reconciliation and embodied unity consciousness. They offer an exper experiential framework for energetic restoration, the Eden template. I just wanted to share someone, aside from Lou Martin, singing your praises and how the two of you, you know, thanks to Almighty God and your soul's journey in this incredible lifetime, have, have come together to do this work. It's, it's pretty extraordinary. It's such, it's such a joy. <laughs> Also, when, 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 when we're talking about the joy, we really found our joy. Yeah. <laughs> this is co, co, co create together. <laughs> co creation at its best, as Abraham says. Yes. Wonderful. If I feel that. And literally, it is co creation. Literally, we are all creating the world that we want to live in. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, it's, 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 go on. It's important to remember that you may, we may not see it in the outer world the way that we're hoping, because the world that we're creating is based on frequency. And we live in that world now, in, in, in this moment. And there are lots of different versions of Earth, and we live in the one that is the closest match to our frequency. Yeah, yeah. And it's always it's always here. It's always now. So all all of those worlds, concentrically, if you will, interpenetrate with each other. They're all present at the same moment. Yeah. 
And I had a dream a while back that I was walking down the street with several people and all of a sudden they disappeared and I was just walking by myself. And it's not that they disappeared, it's that in the dream I shifted the frequency of my vibration and I was now in a different version of, of, of Earth. And it was the same place because there is no other place. It looked different. And the people that I was walking with, they're still, they're still here, they're still there, just in a different frequency band. And that's, that's, yeah. ha that's happening for all of us. Yeah, th this is what I was going to say, uh, that uh, I'm becoming more conscious of, you know, a, a split in the vibration in general, you know, uh, is my sense of things, just mine personally, over the next few years. And, you know, as we're saying, because it is, it's done unto you as you believe, and it is all frequency and vibration. And, uh, you know, not everyone is is ready or willing or, or open to to trust themselves that deeply, you know, is all I want to say. I, I, I think that more people are waking up. It's not to embrace division, but just to be aware that, you know, we're learning things that the world is yet to understand and, it, and it, it's not about it's not about division at, at least as i'm understanding or at least my understanding of what it is you're saying it's more yeah. moving moving into to unity and yeah the, the more that we do that the, the, the higher the frequency of our of a, maybe i can speak now you're good the, the more that we do that, the higher the frequency of our vibration is, and the more sure. we, the more we become, you know, we become higher states, states of frequency, higher states yeah. of consciousness. Yes. And, yes, and when when you want to experience paradise on the earth, you you need to become this paradise because it is opening up only within you, and then when, after when it will open within you, then you feel, start to step by step, feel with out, in outside world also. So you are this paradise. I believe that. I've had those glimpses. I've had those moments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May you have more. May what? you experience more. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. I'm ready for that. Believe me. It's wonderful. Well, my friends, anything else you want to leave us with here today as we come down the home stretch? It's always a joy to chat with you both. Sim go ahead, then. No, oh, no, go ahead. I didn't say that. Sim simply, how much we love you. Bless you. And I'm not talking just to you. Lou. I'm talking to every, <laughs> every everybody that is and will be watching this this video that how much we truly love you and we have been blessed with remembering who we are we've been blessed with knowing who we are as a single soul and the joy that comes through that is just phenomenal and we we, we love to share that with everybody beautiful Thank you. Well, I'm just seeing this wonderful page you've created here with a lot of, you know, glowing views of your work, which is which is great. I will, of course, put the link for this and for people to know the class itself. Vivek, I'm sorry, I'm jumping in here for a second. Um, yeah, I want to hear. From you. Okay, so it's um, a five week class for two hours each class, approximately, and. Um, You've got the schedule laid out and it's very detailed, aligning with and embodying the new flow of abundance, week one, dissolving polarities into holy love, becoming the embodiment love, week two, embodying the abundant heart, creating from your true heart, week three, Sunday live Q&A, week four, becoming the new wave of creation, week, flaw, week, flaw, week five, clearing the distortions of money. Beautiful. 
Go ahead, Vivica. I just wanted to say also final quote, <laughs> quote that be really gentle to yourself. So yes. this, <laughs> because this this gentleness, it, it is like you know when when you're thinking about our traumas and traumas, we we cannot just uh, remove them from ourselves. But through this tenderness and self-love, it's, it's, it's like this tender touch of mother or son that will dissolve this, this dense energy within us. So be really gentle and loving to yourself. And as they said, said, we love you so much. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Be kind and compassionate to yourselves. And as, as, as the Dalai Lama once, says, once said, if your compassion does not extend to yourself, it's incomplete. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Love, you. Love, love yourself. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my friends. Well, Vivica, do you want to give us a little blessing? Or David, or both of you together as we float away on your wonderful energy? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Wait, I, how you want David to do? Would you like share together? Sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. Always. Um, we we also <laughs> it's it's we we run out of time. I think that we cannot. To a short meditation, but maybe we just chant right. together, and no, I, I, I will do the slight blessings, and then we will chant with David. There's no rush. Okay. What would you like to do? Or what? <laughs> what do you think, David? I, 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 I very much like what you suggested. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good answer. <laughs> Thank you both. Wonderful. Mikiraso mea taramakeha sukromaya. Ra iera o suiera ke kum kume ya ke kushum meksente keam. Ayatakaya mukushia senda ke meke kaim. Ikatata i ashamakinan. Yukurata tai. Amake amaka asukurona tata amake kua shewa sekrama. Rukus mukurkum rukusam. Ratu iam kekea tai. Eka na shishia sei karumam.
Anahatete kaso yeremiam i an asha suarakena mukhota yata yakono tanamihasta. Blessings, dear hearts. Blessings. Thank you both. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. And oodles of joy. <laughs> oodles and oodles. Thank you, guys. Bless you both. Wonderful. Thank All right, we'll leave it there. You're very welcome. It's my honor, my pleasure. I love to you both. We'll talk again soon, I know, and we'll be... We'll be doing a group hug before we know it. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you, David. Always, Thank always. Thank you. Such a joy. <laughs> Thank you yes, for that. My pleasure. I think we planned this very well in this lifetime, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there. Peace and blessings, all my love.